team makes his move. Ooh, huh? On the take. Ooh, Lillard with the quick. Oh, finally, a reverse layup goes in and doesn't get swatted. It might be the first team to 30 taking the championship here. Uh huh. The high score right era. there. Ooh, nothing falling for them right now. When was the last time the first pick in the draft and the second pick in the draft faced each other in the finals? This is history right here. Was was Dame the second? Uh, yeah. And getting mentally prepared to compete. You see the focus. You feel the energy. These guys are ready to go. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Tonight, we'll see the San Antonio Spurs as they play against the Toronto Raptors. Here are the five for the Raptors. Porzingis is out there with Hunter. Then there's Derek White, and it's Vox, and it's Wiseman in its center. And for the Spurs, we've got Jared Vanderbilt. Green is out there with Sexton. Then there's Jonathan Isaac, and it's Jokic in at the center filling out the middle. And we know Greg, most of the talk coming into this game focused on the front court matchup. A lot of talent in the low post here. And, you know, a lot of times that means it'll come down to the rebounding battle. Whoever controls the boards will have a big Colin leg up there. in the physical and mental aspect of this game. How about that? Finishes through the bump. Sexton attacking the hoop. The wide open look here for Fox. And the three yeah. ball is good. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. He's so skilled on the interior. Jokic plays with so much force and leverage down low. White against Green. Vanderbilt with the block. Records foul. De'Aaron Fox. First personal foul. The Spurs shooting their first free throws of the game. Yeah, last year, collectively only 74% from the line. First free throw is good. Now Toronto Doris losing in the play-in was a disappointment to say the least last year. But we know this is a young team. Well, to your point, Kevin, if you look at the minutes distribution in the top eight, seven guys were under 30. But you've now had a head coaching change. There are some decisions to be made about which direction you're going in. Are you developing that young talent? Are you moving pieces to try to acquire a more veteran team? And Fox must continue to work on that shot. When he's knocking it down from there, boy, the D is in trouble. Green, the basket good off the assist from Sexton. This guy a tough cover for any defender. Creative and assertive scoring the ball. Fox with it. Guarded now by Sexton. Fox, no good. Boy, if you're going up against this guy in this close a range, you've got to defend with everything you've got. A tremendous job defensively. Boy, they came ready to play. That's four straight buckets to start the game. White against Green. And foul on the shot, he'll shoot two at the free throw line. We talk about high effort players. Well, Derek White embodies that very description. Always working hard, always looking to outwork his opponent. This is his first free throw of the game. And 88 from the line a season ago, he was one of the best shooters in the league. And that one falls for White. Good on both. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Sexton kicks to Jokic. Sexton the pass to Green. No good on the triple. That was their first miss of the game. Four for five right now. What a good start. Three-pointer, Fox. And again, Toronto, no luck. San Antonio's drawn one or two from long range in the first quarter. Isaac passes to Vanderbilt, and he comes up with the deuce. Boy, what great body control you saw there, laying it up and in despite having the defense draped all over him. Fox kicks to Hunter. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. 
White looking around. Over Green. White. Good. Derek, and White. this guy is a scoring machine. I mean, I know I'm not the only one to describe him that way. Over in the corner, Green. Off target with his three. Raptors trail by three. The 15-footer. Rebounded by Isaac. And this is exactly what you have to do to stop him. That was a tremendous contest, forcing the miss. To the wing on the left. Vanderbilt finds Jokic. And that one is good. Just so physical inside. Even with contact, Jokic able to fight through it. Here's White. He takes it in. And White with the stuff. I tell you what, you better watch out, fellas. He is on fire here today. Jokic trying to free himself up. Sexton's Colin shot Sexton. is good. You love this. The pressure gets physical, and Colin Sexton doesn't blink. Nice job finishing through contact. Outside, Fox. He doesn't hit that one. Right now trying to get into a rhythm, but so far this quarter, boy, he is struggling to make anything go down. For the three, and the basket by Isaac. Isaac's got six points. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. So, timeout called here, the first for Toronto. Hey, Greg, what are you looking for here as they enter their first night of a back-to-back? We'll see how the coaching staff distributes minutes among the players. That you don't want to overuse your guys tonight and leave them sluggish for tomorrow. It's about finding a balance. And it's a completely new group for Toronto. Sexton against DiVincenzo. Morris outside. It's over Rubio. Four on the shot. And it's a defensive three-second violation. And look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for San Antonio. These guys have been so quick off the dribble, finding great lanes to attack and getting themselves to the basket. I think the other thing they've done a great job of is making their presence felt inside, converting tons of pain opportunities. Here's Hartenstein, guarded by Jackson. Just five on the clock. Morris kicks to Porter. And again, Toronto no luck. I'm shocked that he didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. That one falls. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. When you think about the Spurs, Greg, Michael it's hard Morris. to believe how long Greg Popovich has been at the helm, isn't it? Man, it's hard to imagine another team will have the stability at head coach that the Spurs have had. Not too many coaches last decades anymore. Here's Porter. Pass to Robinson Earl. Out to Morris. Rebounded by Jackson. Boy, he was wide open. You wonder, did he overthink it? That's a missed opportunity. And then Sharp with the dunk. Wow, able to survey over the top of defenses as well as squeeze into tight quarters. Rubio is the consummate playmaker. Here's Morris. To the inside, Hartenstein. And he throws it down hard with one hand. Yeah, Monte Morris instinct two. is pass first Monte on time Morris. and on target. And Sexton has it in the corner. That's tipped. Even Chenzo passes to Morris. Up and in, off to an efficient Monte start. Morris. Two for three from the field. You love the aggressive play inside from Monte Morris. Outside, Sexton. That's in, coming Colin off Sexton. an assist from Rubio. Sexton's got six points. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Morris against Rubio. Pass to Robinson Earl. And a miss there on the triple. 
they've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Sharp, the pass to Sexton. Spurs working the ball around now. Rubio misses. Morris looking over the floor. From 10 feet out, rebounded by the Spurs. Here's Vazenkov, and he banks in the layup. Well, everyone's seeking those high percentage looks in the restricted area. Nicely done there. The scoring fast and furious as we end the first quarter. Spurs lead by nine. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. Guys, what's your take on the Spurs so far? An impressive start. They came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed. What terrific work at the offensive end. They have built some early momentum here. And so Fox will bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. They trail by nine points in this matchup with the Spurs. It's their first meeting of the season. And going back a season ago, it was a win for both sides in their two meetings. You know, despite the disparity in talent, these two teams played each other tough last year. Let's see how competitive they are this time around. So on the floor for Toronto to start the second quarter. They've got Porzingis. Fox is out there with Derek White. Then there's DeAndre Hunter. And it's Highsmith in at the power forward position. For Toronto, they have gone three for three at the line tonight. Yeah, a year ago, though, Kevin, 78% conversion rate from the free throw line. So that's a nice all-around effort. And he makes the first. And a big concern for players and coaches is the consistency of officiating. Greg, do you like that argument? It's tough when one night something is a foul and the next night it isn't. There's some gray area, obviously. And it'd be good for the league to try and clarify how they want things called. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside. It goes strong to the rim. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Green. Jalen Green. That's his third foul of the game. Personal foul. Second team foul. And here is Fox. His last outing, he had 24 points. This guy just can't find his rhythm, and you look up at the scoreboard, they absolutely need his productivity. Little passes to Vanderbilt. Sinks that one from the post. Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt's got the lead up to 11 now for the Spurs. Nice pass here to set that basket up. And we played through the first uh, minute here in the second. Three-pointer, Fox. It's good from long range. Fox has got 11 points. That's his first triple of the second period. Third of the game. Green, the pass to Jokic. There's Jokic being aggressive inside. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. Outside, Brzingis. Back to White. In the corner, it's Hunter. White, good. Derek That's White. all about determination from Derek White. Doesn't let the contact deter him. Green, the pass to Little. And stolen by Hunter. A step back shot here. One up, one down. Yeah, Two points with his first shot this game. And the D had no answer for that move. Beautifully done. Easy layup. And there's the feet to Little. Hunter with it. He's picked up by Little. Here's Fox. Made that yeah, one only his fourth of this game after firing ten times from the floor. And you, you have to have respect for his speed in transition. Fox is a high-octane player who explodes in the open floor. Here's Sharp. A second chance effort. Jokic catches his way to finish inside. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Outside, White driving inside. And White with the stuff. Uh, Derek White showing you I can put it on the deck and finish off a pretty drive. Nicely done, Derek. And once the team to beat in the West, Greg San Antonio is trying to get back to that level. 
Well, they have a great organization, top to bottom. They're smart and battle-tested. I believe these guys will find a way. And he gets the bucket. Yeah. Fox has got nine points in the quarter. Man, he's having quite the quarter, converting at a really high percentage. Green passes to Vanderbilt. Knocks down the three ball. A whole selfless play right there from Green. He's all about getting it to the open man. And the Raptors call a time here. And one outstanding thing the Raptors do, Greg, they really protect the ball. Yeah, even when they're not playing their best, they don't give away games with mistakes. They force you to find other ways to beat them. The Spurs making a switch here. Isaac's checked in. James Wiseman, he's checked in for the Raptors. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Fox, no good. And, and they continue to control the glass. Here's Jokic. It's good. Now he's shooting six for seven. Here's Fox. 15 points in the game. And it's Fox with the jam. He is a blur. I mean... Fox, obviously skilled at breaking down the defense, coupled with his athleticism and size. Boy, he is a terror. Isaac. And it's Toronto with the rebound. It's stolen by Green. Here's Isaac. Here's Jokic. Jokic always hovering. Well, they're leading in large part because of the work he's put in in this quarter. This is nicely done. White with it. Now Green defending, and they pick up two. White's got 12. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. And the pass to Sharp. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Green's got five assists in the game. Green against Fox. Passes it to Wiseman. Now Hunter. Second shot opportunity. Outside White. And three chances on that possession, but they just couldn't find a way to score. And the short break in the action gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the NBA is looking to expand its footprint and a franchise south of the border could potentially hold tremendous appeal. Commissioner Adam Silver said Mexico City is the largest city in North America. It could also be a gateway to all of Latin America. The opportunity to flip a switch in terms of opening up a large geographical area to NBA interest. Kevin? Hmm, that's interesting. Thanks, David. Here's Hunter. Isaac with some nice D. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. Misses off the right iron. Well, tremendous defensive effort on the interior. That's the kind of contest you want. Here's Fox into the lane. And it's Fox with the jam. And one of the quickest players in basketball. Love watching Fox use that momentum to his advantage on the drive. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. Last game matchup in the Suns, a, a tough loss there. And, and missing your free throws usually changes the complexion of a game. Certainly did in that one. You know this. Nothing gets a crowd into the game more than a bunch of missed free throws. That's one of the worst things you can do on the road. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. They did a better job of getting it inside in that first. They've lost some of that physical edge here. Greg, take a look at Monte Morris for a second. You've got to be inspired by his terrific story. I mean, from late second round pick to a seasoned NBA player, Morris never gave up on himself and continues to impress with each passing season. Well, just six foot two, but the vertical for Colin Sexton nicely done. Even Genzo against Sexton. 
and a wide open look for Porter. And again, Toronto with the triple. I'll tell you, you are playing with fire anytime you leave this guy open, and they just got burned. And Rubio kicks to Sexton, and that's a foul called on Colin Sexton. That is his first foul of the game. Well, despite that possession, something that I've liked is they've been under control while getting out in this lead. They've kept those turnovers down. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Here's DiVincenzo. Here's Hartenstein. And it's Vazenkov with the rebound. Not loose. Porter with the steal. Fast break. Here come the Raptors. Here's DiVincenzo. And the last second attack does not go in for it. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. It's the Spurs up three. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much here with Greg Popovich. Pop, what did you see in the first half? Uh, we had ball movement. You know, we weren't in mud. The guys were in attack mode. Nobody held the ball. You know, you pass, catch, or shoot. And we did that a lot in the first half. Yeah, you had them swiveling, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Tremendous first half. Glad to have you back. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jets Smith. Some incredible work in this one by Nikola Jokic. He had 14 points and six rebounds. Kenny, what was your take on San Antonio? Well, if you compare the assist numbers, you can see who's been the superior team. In there. And they're playing a much better brand of basketball. That bodes well for them the rest of the way. Shaq, what was your takeaway on Toronto? Right now, they're playing well only on one end of the court. All their energy has been spent on the defensive. And that's a change. They're just going to keep giving up easy buckets and the game's going to get away from them. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. It's been one outstanding game from De'Aaron Fox. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far, unstoppable. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. Jared Vanderbilt out there with Jokic. Then there's Jonathan Isaac. And it's Green. And it's Sexton in at the point. So that's who Greg Popovich starts the second half with. Well, Wiseman's passing game is a work in progress, but he's smart enough to spot the wide open man there. And that one's good. Green. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Oh, gee, the long arms and athleticism up and down this roster for the Raptors. It is something. Yeah, they, they have a tight that they're looking for. Block, steal, deflections all coming in bunches. The activity will be there. Pass to Jokic. Oh, throw it down, Nikola Jokic. Well, a nice job by Colin Sexton to find the open man. You want to see court awareness from the young gun. And stolen by Sexton. Isaac outside. And Jokic throws it down hard. Fancy with that one. Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. Fox deciding where to go with it over Green. That is good, and the Spurs lead is cut down to two on the bucket from Fox. Wow, what a start to this half. Three for three, dictating the pace on the offensive end. They're rolling early. Oh, the Joker taking over. He's had his way offensively, making it look easy. White with it. He's got 17. Here's Weisman. And finished off by Weisman. And, and since halftime, this has become an intense ball game. They are getting after it hard. It has become a real 
battle out there. And good that time. Oh, not even thinking about it. When Green is catching and firing like that, you know he's feeling it. Here's Fox. Outside, Brzingis. And there it is for him. Wow, five straight buckets coming out of half. They are rolling. Sexton kicks to Green. Shoots over Fox. Rebound by the Raptors. Their next game is at the American Airlines Center in Dallas for a game with the Mavericks. Yeah, in the midst of a four-game road trip right now. That'll be game number three. But how about the awareness there from Fox? You, you got to love seeing how he is such a willing passer in finding the open man. Green drives in. And it's Green slamming it down. And one of Green's best assets, his leaping ability. He's a natural athlete. Very explosive. On our AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you just saw an explosive highlight. They get it back. Eisman off target at the rim. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. And Jalen Green gets the three. Jalen Green. Green's got nine points here in the second half. Here's Fox. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to be on Jokic. And for a player of his size, Fox not afraid to take some contact to get to the line. He'll do it every chance he gets. He throw good, Fox. So San Antonio goes with a fresh five on the floor. And Toronto making a change here. He makes one of two that time. And I really love Fox's game. He's got a ton of room to grow, but boy, does he play with intensity. Raptors trail by four. To the middle, there's Persingas. Good, and a nice assist from Fox. Persingas has got four this quarter. And guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Yep, that one goes. Sometimes a player is born with a passer's mindset. He deals it with conviction. It's Fox with the drive. And the layup's good off the glass. Fox has got 24. And just maybe the quickest player in the league. Fox can get to the bucket at will. Better bring some help when he's driving. Here's Vazenkov. Sharp the pass to Little. Here's Sharp. Fires the three. And it's Fox with the rebound. Here's Hartenstein, and the rejection by Jackson. Yep, it counts, and the Spurs lead by four. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Spurs. Great job by this team closing out, blocking a bunch of shots, and just a tremendous effort defensively. The other thing for this team today, they have a bunch of second chance points. They're turning misses into makes. And Rubio kicks to Little. Ice ball movement by San Antonio. Kicks it out to Rubio. Pass to Little. There's the three. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Persingas has got rebound number five here tonight. And you talk about a tough matchup doors for teams against this one. Kristaps Porzingis, he is a tough cover. Yeah, listen, Kev, this guy has that rare combination of both size and skill. Increasingly more efficient. And when he's healthy, he's really been a problem. And Toronto making a change here. And check out the numbers for Morris. How he did last season. Put up about 10 points per game. Five assists and three rebounds. Well, fans of this team will take this kind of production from him without hesitation. I tell you, he has been a solid contributor. They have called his number, and he has Morris. delivered for them. Big hops from the backcourt. Oh, absolutely. And maybe just what they need to get this game GA going in their direction. Boy, as tight as this one is, that's a statement play saying, hey, listen, we're not here to back down for you guys. Clearly a foul. 
And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Toronto. They're still slashing and attacking the rim, and the defense yet to make the adjustment and keep the ball in front. And another theme in this game to me, guys, has been how lethal they've been in transition. Attack on the break and make sure you convert. No good on the second free throw. And Morris has got the ball here for Toronto. It's a one-point game. Count it. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. San Antonio's gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. And it's Little finishing it off. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Here's DiVincenzo. Another shot. A rebound by the Spurs. Down low, Porzingis with the steal. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. Here's Porter. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Porter's got six. And even stronger second half. Tremendous efficiency at the offensive end of the floor. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Back to Rubio. Here's Little. Got three off the mark. Raptors leading by three. Here's Morris. Rebounded by Jackson. In the corner, it's Little. That's in. Coming off an assist from Rubio. Rubio's got six assists now in the game. Some impressive scoring, and we still have one quarter to go. Who will gain the upper hand in the fourth? And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from the short break. A chance now to hear Greg Popovich talking to his team just moments ago. Down the stretch now. No fouls. We're in attack mode. Quick decisions, attack, attack. At the other end, everybody's rebound. It's the most important thing. You get it out of there. And Greg Popovich asking for intelligent aggression. This is where this type of team tends to shine. Yeah, it's a higher level of play. Every team in the league strives for it. Only a few actually make it happen. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. On the court for Toronto to start the fourth. Morris is out there with Dante DiVincenzo. Then there's Wiseman. And there's Porzingis. And it's Hunter in at the three. The small four. Here's Vanderbilt. Gets the bucket and the foul. That's on James Wiseman. And the rebound and the follow show you what he is all about. Ready and determined to the soft touch to match. Green, he's checked in for Ricky Rubio. Then for the Raptors, Hartenstein comes in for Porzingis. And it's wide in for Dante DiVincenzo. And the Raptors with the ball, trailing by five. Vanderbilt with the block. White against Jokic. The open look here for Sexton. Good, and the assist goes to Jokic. And the Spurs lead by eight. This is a shot Colin Sexton has worked so hard to improve on. Can he be consistent from three-point range? Morris, no good. Boy, he's at the cuff, but that is tremendous defense. Prohibit the lay-in without fouling. And it's Jokic missing. Raptors trail by eight. It's White on the wing. Kicks it to Weissman. Back to White. The pass to Weissman. And good. He nails it. That will help your assist numbers if you're Derek White. You can't miss that guy. Spurs leading by six. 
Robert Sexton the pass to Jokic. Jokic takes the contact and scores. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Now I think that's the one thing every player is searching for, consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. And there's Green on the assist by Jokic. And now a 10 points in Antonio Lee. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic. It is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. And the Raptors call time here. A short rest, very important. And one of the benefits of this part of the game is getting on the same page with your team while having the chance to hydrate with Gatorade. Replenish your energy for the late game push. De'Aaron Fox has checked in for Morris. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, able to listen in on what Darko Ryakovich was going over with his team. Now, Coach challenged him. He said, this goes beyond this game. Show me how much heart you have for the season. Fight until the final buzzer. Guys, back to you. Thank you, David. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Three-pointer, Fox. Rebounded by Isaac. Isaac's got six rebounds now in the game. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it just feels a lot bigger. And so White will bring it up for the Raptors. It's a 10-point game. And boy, when Hunter's aggressive, good things seem to happen for him and his team. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. White against Green. Heisman no good. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. That boy, to have someone back there who can erase oh, your sensitive. mistakes. What a big-time asset defensively. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Fox, no good. He started out strong. Three threes in the first half, but the long ball has disappeared on him since. Isaac misses. I'll tell you, despite his struggles at the offensive end, this team still finds themselves in control of the ball game. Here's Fox, and he connects yeah, with the jumper. Fox. That's 28 points for De'Aaron Fox. Yeah, I think it's fair to say that Fox is in the zone right now. An exciting player to watch. I just love seeing how he can take over a game with his aggressiveness. Hunter, no one around him. Right through the center of that time, all net. Hunter's got it back down to within single digits for the Raptors. Passes to Green. And it's sent back by White. That's anticipation on the defensive end by Derek White. Send it back, young sir. Outside Fox. A three-pointer off the mark. Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. Green finds Vanderbilt. Spurs working the ball around now. And Jokic gets it to go. Jokic has got 12 points in just the second half. You simply can't move Jokic. He's like a statue out there and can hit any shot through contact. And the Raptors call time here. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Well, poor rotations, poor communication. There's a lot to figure out right now. And now, let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Nikola Jokic. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. This was a big game for him. There's no denying that. Coming off a bunch of losses yeah, in a row. They turned to him to break the streak, and he delivered in a big way. On the wing, Isaac. Good on the triple. Well, he is growing up right before our eyes. Jonathan Isaac making these kinds of shots in the catch and shoot. Wow. against Sexton. That one's good. The San Antonio lead is cut down now to just nine in the bucket from Fox. San Antonio's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. And Sexton slams it in. And guys, telling Sexton, it's really about taking smart shots because when he does, you can see he's got the ability to catch fire. The Raptors have gone seven to 16 from the field here in the fourth. That's about 43%. Here's Fox with plenty of space. Sexton grabs the board. 
Sexton's got four rebounds now tonight. Through the net again. He's oh, done that ten it. times tonight, and he's only needed 11 shots to get there. Man, that's a big-time fearless move from Colin Sexton. Put it home, young sir. Back from outside. A three-pointer is right on target. Fox has got nine points now in the fourth. Well, if you offer no resistance defensively, he's going to knock down the three. It's really that simple, guys. And Antonio calls timeout. They lead by 10. 122 left to play here in the fourth. 122 left in the fourth quarter. Vanderbilt, good, and the assist goes to Jokic. Jokic has got three assists in the game. Raptors trail by 12. And that's a foul Sandy called on Colin Sexton. Colin that's Sexton. foul number two for him. Second personal foul. First team foul. Sexton against Fox. And there's no doubt about this one. Playing with a lot of confidence tonight. It's a statement victory for the Spurs. And it may be a comfortable win for him, but you know, they had to weather a few storms along the way, and that's all part of the score. Yeah, Kevin, this was by no means the runaway that it might appear to be. It was a scrappy performance, though, all the way through. And ever win important, and this one will go down is win number three. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. And, you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Collins Sexton. This guy putting on a passing clinic. If you want to know how to run an offense, roll back the tape from this evening. Fox, no good. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 15 points. And the shot is good. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. No question. They've got hot at exactly the right time. Much play on a team level. Oh, that's a big man move by Wiseman. Roughing up the D with that emphatic finish. Jokic finds Sexton. Isaac misses. Now Hunter. The layup off target. Vanderbilt moves back up and Jokic lays it up and in. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. What an impressive performance to say the least. At this point it looks insurmountable. And so it's San Antonio. He's here taking this one. They poured it on tonight. Dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when, when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home no doubt helps. And the execution was flawless. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Thank you, Kevin. Nicola, not much time to enjoy this win with another game tomorrow, so how do you get ready? Yeah, uh, I think we just need to uh, be aggressive. I think if we start the game really good, we could give our, uh, ourselves a chance to win the game, and we hope we're going to do that. Well, man, appreciate your time, and congrats on this win. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.